For foreign troops in Afghanistan, the long war will end next year on timetable, handing over the fighting to Afghan forces. But the Taliban are not defeated, and 12 years on there's a growing willingness both in the Afghan government and the US-led coalition to negotiate peace. The Afghan government believes that Mullah Barada could be the key to peace. He was a moderate element. He was uh, a, a, a peace, a pro-peace, uh, uh, you know, person. So uh, we, we, we think that uh, uh, he, he, he would become uh, an ambassador for peace. But activists fear that what progress there's been on women's rights could be lost if the government start making concessions to the Taliban. Every single minute there is a possibility for us, after all this sacrifice, to be a loser. But do you believe the government would sacrifice women's rights in order to get peace? Yes, because what is for the time priority for the government is to go and deal. Whatever is the price of that deal, they would like to do the deal. But who will be the victim? Back, the people of Afghanistan, and particularly the women in Afghanistan. Formidable obstacles remain, and even if there is a deal, there may be gunmen allied to the Taliban in Afghanistan who are not willing to lay down their arms just yet. But this is the most senior Taliban leader to come to the table, and the Afghan government at least is pinning a lot of hopes on signing a deal with him. There has been too much fighting and too little hope, but that could change. David Loyne, BBC News, Kabul.